Hey everyone, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to crochet these beautiful chrysanthemum flowers. So to crochet um, this chrysanthemum flower, we will be needing a 4mm crochet hook and I'm using um, DK like worsted weight yarn. Um, and you'll also be needing some scissors and a tapestry needle as well um, but i normally just tie a knot um, at the end <laughs> tie the two tail ends together to form a knot and then i trim them short but anywho um if you want to you can sew the tail ends in so to begin i'm taking this red yarn it actually appears to be like a burnt orange on camera but it's actually <laughs> very red um, okay, so to begin, we're going to create a slip knot. So to do that, we're going to wrap the yarn around our fingers to form like an X, like that, a little bit tighter than that, like that. And then you're going to flip your fingers over, you go under the first loop, and then bring up the second loop. You're going to keep your fingers, uh, you're going to keep the loop around your fingers, and then you're going to do a chain one to secure the... Um, to secure the magic ring and then we are going to place i think it's 12 single crochets yeah 12 single crochets into the magic ring so um to do a single crochet you're just going to insert yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook let me just get my camera to focus or to stay focused Okay, so that's one. We're going to do that 11 more times. So again, it's insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, insert, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two loops on your hook. Okay, so now that's three. Now we do that for nine more times. Okay, so I'm also going to be working over my tail end. So that's four, five, six. Oopsie, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so I'll pull that a bit more tight, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so now to close off this magic ring, we're just going to take our tail end, and we're just going to pull this tight, oopsie, <laughs> it's going to this tight and it should somewhat close yeah also don't want to break the yarn so it should somewhat close i don't know why this isn't closing fully like it normally does but anywho so now to go into the next round we're going to slip stitch into the front loop only of um of our work so i don't know if you can see there um let me just get my camera to focus there we go so i don't know if you can see there but there's actually two loops a front loop and a back loop sorry a back loop and a front loop let me just get my bonny needle out quickly so i can show you a bit more easier okay so as you see here, there is a front loop and a back loop. So there's these like little like V's almost. Okay, so there's like these like V's here. So there's the front loop and then there is the back loop. So now we are just going to go through the front loop only of the beginning stitch okay so you're going to insert our hook again and then so we just slip stitch through the first stitch but through the front loop only like that we're also going to be working over our tail end so to carry on with the single crochet um you're just going to yarn over and so not with the single crochet slip stitch you yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook Okay, so now for this round, we're going to be working through the front loops only like the way we did 
the slip stitch now so what we're going to do from here we're going to chain up seven so the chain is just yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through that's two and then yarn over pull through that's three four five six seven six seven sorry that is seven <laughs> okay so it's one two three four five six seven yeah okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our chains over and then in our second uh chain from hook we do not count this loop on a hook we don't sorry we do not count this loop on a hook as a stitch we don't work into this first one but in the second one we'll insert under the back bump of the chain and then do a single crochet which is again yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and we will do a single crochet um through each of the next few chains it's actually five chains yeah so um we are going to be repeating the not repeating um we're going to be making the petals now of the flower So now I've worked into the last stitch. So now what you're going to want to do is into the next stitch. You're going to want to do a slip stitch. So you're going to insert through the front loop only. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. So as I said, we're going to just be working to these front loops only. Just these very front loops here. We are only going to be working in there. So again, you're going to want to chain up seven. One, two, three four five six and seven again flip the chains over one single crochet in the second chain from hook and in each chain across not a chain across <laughs> into each chain stitch I'm just going to single crochet into the last, the last chain here. Okay. Then again, we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, which is this one here. So we're going to slip stitch into this next stitch over here, and then you just repeat those steps of chaining seven, and then doing a single crochet into the second chain from hook and then um, and then slip stitching into the next stitch on the base in the front loops only um, and then yeah so you just repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning again and then I will then show you how to do the third round which is very similar um, but slightly different <laughs> um, so yeah you can just repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet back up with you when we are ready to go on to um, on to the third the third round yeah okay so now I'm just on to my last petal I'm just doing the last few single crochets until I get to the base and then we are just going to slip stitch into the next stitch available and by the end of this round you should have uh, you should have 12 uh, 12 petals so it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay so now on to round two for round two okay well what we have done with working in the front loops only is we have we now have all of these stitches available um at the back now um so now what we're going to do so what we are going to do is um 
we are going to um we are just going to slip stitch into i think the back stitch of this one so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to slip stitch into this loop here so i'm just going to slip stitch at the on the first single crochet the first open back loop of the first single crochet that we did in the first round okay so now for the third round what we're going to do for the first or the full second set of petals we're going to chain nine so it's one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we are just going to do one single crochet in the second chain from the hook and in each chain um in the each in each remaining chain okay and then when you get to the base you will slip stitch to the beginning again well, not to the beginning, uh, you slip stitch to the base. So you will slip stitch into the next available stitch. It should be this one, if I'm not mistaken. So you're just going to slip stitch in there. Actually, you know, that's the same stitch that we slip stitched into previously. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we repeat the process again, doing one single crochet in the back loops of every chain. Again, skipping that first chain and the first loop on your hook. Um, so we're just going to do a single crochet from the second chain from hook and onwards. Okay, and then again you're going to slip stitch into the base of the, the flower and again you're going to slip stitch to the back loop or the available loop. So you're going to slip stitch and then you're going to repeat that process doing chain, um, you're going to chain up nine, one single crochet in the second chain from hook and in the remaining chains and then you're going to slip stitch into the next available stitch. Um, on the flower you're going to repeat that around until you get back to the beginning and then you should have 12 petals in total for the third round okay okay so now i have completely finished all 12 petals so now what we're going to do to end this off i've already slip stitched into the base um so we're just going to take our scissors cut our yarn pull up a loop and then I'm afraid we have to weave in this tail end because my other tail end has gone missing. <laughs> and I've actually sewn over it. Um, so you're just going to take your darning needle, thread your yarn onto your darning needle, and then you're just going to want to uh, sew this down. And I want to hide your tail end, so you're just going to your darning needle through some of the stitches i'm actually just going to close this hole up a bit more so i'm just going to weave under uh, the stitches mm. Oops, sorry about the camera. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, so I'm just going to continue sewing this all the way around. Oopsie. I 
clearly I've done my magic ring wrong <laughs> or did something wrong because I couldn't really close the hole when, when I first pulled onto it. Yeah, that looks better. So now I'm just gonna, oopsie. I'm just gonna sew this back onto itself. So I'm just gonna insert my needle and literally just go back in the direction that I came. I'm just gonna skip the first stitch that I'm coming out of and then just sew a little bit this way. gonna sew again this way and I think I can cut my yarn after this oh gosh yeah come on there we go okay so now I'm just gonna cut off my tail end here and there is your little chrysanthemum flower yeah so obviously you have to just shape it out a bit um yeah this is the flower look at how pretty that is and yeah and this is the other blue one to go with it this one really looks orange on camera but it's actually <laughs> um it's actually red um so yeah um if you like this tutorial please let me know in the comments down below um yeah if you like this video give this a like and as I say comment down below um, if you'd like to check out any of my of one of my other flower tutorials um, my other like leaf tutorial um, then I'll put a link um, in the description box below and in the corner or in the corners um, so yeah uh, that's it for this tutorial um, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah enjoy the rest of your crocheting